Welcome to Good News Heroes on Unite Radio. My name's Jenna. I'm so glad you've joined us. Have you ever watched a movie or TV show for the first time and you thought you knew how it was going to end, but it surprised you and didn't end the way you expected? Operation Alka didn't go how everyone thought it would, but God's ending to the story surprised everyone. Let's find out with Piper, Logan, and Uncle Mike. You two doing okay? Seems like the dogs think you're a bit bummed today. Well, the dogs can sense people's emotions. So they're right then. Yeah, we're just sad about Nate and the other missionaries. We haven't talked about a good news hero who died before they got to tell people about Jesus. Yeah, God is more powerful and can still do great things, but it's still sad. It is very sad, and it's okay to be sad about it. Rachel, Marge, and the other missionaries' wives were very sad too, but it wasn't the end of the story. Yeah, Rachel is still there, and Ayuma. Did they go find Ayuma's family? They wanted to find her family, but they had to think about the best way to do that, especially after what happened. It probably wasn't safe to go find them right away. Rachel kept learning the Alka language from Dayuma. Dayuma was so surprised that Rachel still wanted to learn her language and tell her people about Jesus. But God helped Rachel keep loving the Alkas, and while Rachel learned the language, she taught Dayuma about God. They enjoyed learning from each other, but there was one problem. Uh Uh-oh. Dayuma was still working as a servant and didn't have as much time to spend with Rachel as she would like. Rachel prayed, asking God to give her more time with Dayuma. Soon, God answered. Dayuma! Dayuma! Rachel, what is it? I have great news! We're going to be on a TV show in the United States. What's a TV show? Oh, uh, you remember the pictures and videos Nate took on his camera? Yes. Well, a TV show is like a video that thousands and thousands of people watch at the same time together all over the world. Your boss wants us to go on the show. You mean we would leave our home to visit your home? Yes! Would you want to go? I think so, but I don't speak your language. That's just it. I'll translate so I can tell everyone on TV what you're saying. But since I haven't mastered the language yet, your boss is letting you have extra time off so you can teach me more. Wonderful. And will you tell me more stories about God and about Jesus? Of course. It will be good practice to tell stories about God in your language. I used to read missionary stories to Nate when he was a little boy. It will be so good to tell stories again. God has answered my prayers. They were on TV? That's so cool. Rachel and Dayuma thought so too. Millions of people watched Rachel tell her story and translate for Dayuma. People were amazed to hear what God was doing. But afterwards, Dayuma got very sick. Oh no, was she okay? She would be, but at the moment, she was too sick to go back into the jungle. So Rachel stayed in the United States to take care of Dayuma. While Dayuma recovered, Rachel taught her more about the Bible. Oh, did she tell her the story of the lost sheep or of Daniel? What about when Paul believed in Jesus? I'm sure Dayuma heard all those stories. She loved hearing about Jesus and decided that she wanted to believe in Jesus as her savior from sin. This was the day Nate and Rachel and many other people had been praying for. The very first Alka had believed in Jesus as her savior. That's amazing! It wasn't all for nothing! It wasn't. Even though Nate wasn't there to see it, God used his work to bring people to Christ who had never heard about Jesus. When Dayuma got better, they returned to Ecuador. Dayuma decided to go back into the jungle to visit her people. Are you ready, Dayuma? I think so. And I'm bringing a gift. I think Nate would want me to. What gift? Look! Puppies! (laughs) Oh, what a wonderful gift. I'm sure my people will love them. Hopefully this will lead the way to bring them the best gift, the good news of Jesus. Are you afraid, Dayuma? I'm worried about you. I know, but God will be with me. Pray for me, Rachel. I certainly will. I will return soon, I promise. 
Try this phrase, Betty. It means we are your friends. I think I know this one. Jim used to shout it from Nate's plane when they dropped gifts. I heard him practice it many times. Bito amite wa ponemo. Very good. Rachel, Betty, Dayuma. Oh, oh my. Dayuma, who are these people? They are my people. I told them about Jesus, and they want you to come and teach them more. They do? Yes. Please, Rachel, will you and Betty join us? Will you tell them more stories from the Bible, like you did for me? You mean live in the jungle with your people? Yes, I will be with you. I will help you. It will be hard and dangerous. Some of my people will be suspicious of you. They might think you're spies coming for revenge, but I told them you don't want revenge. This is hard for them to understand. No, no, we don't want revenge. That is not what God wants. Jim, Nate, and the others wouldn't want that either. There are other ways besides killing to deal with what happened to them. They understood the dangers and they trusted God. We trust him too. Living among the Alcas. Nate, Jim, and the others would be thrilled. We will live with you. Wait, did they live with the people who killed Nate? They did. What? Wow. It was something only God could help Rachel and Betty do. What about Marge and Roger and Ed and Pete's wives? Marge, Barbara, Olive, and Mary Lou moved on to other work God called them to. They told their story and supported Rachel and Betty as they lived with the Alcas. What was it like for Betty and Rachel to live with the Alcas? It was hard, but God helped them. They kept learning the language and learning about the people. Every Sunday, Dayuma told her people true stories from the Bible. Many of them believed in Jesus as their savior, including some of the men who killed Nate and his friends. Really? Really, really. They even apologized to Rachel and Betty. They now understood why what they did was wrong, and they wanted to live God's way instead. And Rachel and Betty forgave them. Did George believe in Jesus? Sadly, George was speared not long after the attack on the missionaries. But later, his son believed in Jesus and eventually became a great leader in the Waodani church. Oh yeah, the real name is the Waodani. Well, how long did Rachel and Betty live with the Waodani? Betty stayed with them for a few years. When she moved back to the U.S., she wrote several books about how God was helping the Waodani. Her books became very famous, and people were amazed to read about what God was doing. Rachel stayed as a missionary for the rest of her life. She even translated parts of the Bible into the Waodani language. Rachel died in 1994 and is buried in Ecuador. Whoa, she did that even after they killed her brother? I don't know if I could do that even if someone even said mean words about Piper. It certainly wasn't easy. But God was with Rachel and Betty. In fact, Nate's son, Steve, also moved to the jungle to live with the Wadani. While he was there, he met Midkayani, one of the men who had killed his father. What? What happened? Midkayani told Steve to kill him. He thought Steve deserved revenge, but Steve didn't do it. He knew that his father had given his life for Midkayani's people so they could hear about Jesus. And that's what happened. Steve forgave Minkayani, and as the years went on, they became best friends. Steve also wrote a book sharing the story from his point of view. Whoa, God is so awesome. He really is the only one who could change everyone so that they wouldn't want revenge or be angry at each other. That's right, Logan. The story of Operation Alka inspires many good news heroes to this day. Their story shows God's love, forgiveness, and power. He takes even the saddest things that happen to us or others and uses them to do great things. We looked at Isabel Kuhn's books last time. Do you have any of Betty's books or Steve's book? You know, I think Grandma has them. She'd love to show you. Yay! A trip to Grandma and Grandpa's house! (laughs) Yeah, yeah, after we take you back, of course. Only God could use so many different people in such amazing ways. God also wants to use you. Maybe you are really good at something, like how Nate was good at fixing and inventing things. 
Maybe hard things have happened to you and you feel angry or scared like Dayuma did. No matter who you are or what your life is like, God loves you and wants to use you. Maybe God wants to use the story of Operation Alka to remind you to pray for missionaries and people who need to hear about Jesus. Maybe God wants you to be a missionary one day. Will you ask God to use your life the way He wants to? Thanks for tuning in to Good News Heroes on Unite Radio. Join us next time to learn how God uses more Good News Heroes. Looking for more content? Check out our app, Unite Kids. Unite Kids has devotionals and games just for you. A link to download the app is in the description.